This is the Earl Mudd commit video comment for 467370DD. What do we got? Format logging page, floating checkboxes. The display toggle checkboxes are fixed at the top of the logging page. The log is set to only take up 80% of the window and then overflow, so it will scroll independently. So let's have a look at this log page. The text is small, that's on purpose so I can see a lot of it. Uh, these are the checkboxes for controlling what log stuff comes up. The borders um, were just so I could see what was going on with the CSS because I'm not a CSS pro. So you can see all the different stuff that you can check. Like um, Time is turned off by default, but I don't have the checkbox updated. Uh, it ju I just set all the checkboxes to true. So if you uncheck and recheck, you see the time comes up. And so the big deal about this was um, uh, before I just had the log text and the checkboxes at the top. So as soon as you scrolled the log, scrolled down to see the log, your checkboxes would scroll up. So what I did was I set this um, to take up, I think, 20% of the screen. I don't know, a certain height actually to take up to fit all the checkboxes. And then I put uh, a div below it, and I made the div set to overflow, so that when you scroll, it scrolls within the div rather than scrolling the page. So you can see, uh, you can check off things and still see where you were. So it won't it won't move around on you. So that's what that was about. So the code, see the changes we made. Uh, in CSS, you can see I've added a checkboxes class. Uh, the, the, 10 pixels down from the top, 10 pixels from the left, and the height is 20% of the window, and the width is 100% of the window, and then I made a checkbox. Uh, so that's the checkboxes span, and then for checkbox classes, because um, uh, the number sign is for ID, the dot is for uh, classes, I each one is 140 pixels, I put a border on it, I can remove that, and I did inline block, because if you do inline, or block, they just didn't seem to line up the way I wanted them to. And I think inline block means inside it formats as a block, but to the rest of the world it acts as um, inline. So it'll do like flow layout if you're familiar with JavaScript um, layouts, which hopefully you're not because it sucks. And then the log class, uh, that'll take up 80% of the, um, I don't know if that's height, yeah, 80% of the window. And since it is a div, it's a block element, so it'll come after the checkboxes span, and then 20% or 20 pixel margin on the top, 20 pixel, a 40 pixel margin on the left, and then that here's that overflow scroll that will make it so that it will um, only take up 80% of the screen, and if there's more, you have to scroll down to see more of that. And then what's this log.js? Oh, so I just added uh, to each checkbox, I set that the class the style, the CSS style class is checkbox. And that's it. That's the um, uh, Earl Mud commit video comment for commit 467370DD.